appearing all over the place, but <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I also want to light it up a little bit because it is a, a little bit dark around here, and I always uh, do get a little bit nervous when things start getting dark. So let me just go and uh, put torches uh, around where all of the uh, the holes are, and then that way that will uh, light up the uh, the entire area. And oh, someone's getting a lot of experience. Uh, there we go. We can now see what we're doing. And so what I want to do is uh, start decorating the area around here a bit. So I'm just going to uh, break away a little bit of the dirt and uh, start filling it in uh, with some brown wool. And then that will just sort of mark where the, the actual holes are uh, a little bit better. And uh, so then people are going to know uh, where there's a, a chance for the uh, the mold to, to poke their little head out of. So if I just sort of break some random blocks around the outside here and start filling this all in with some brown wool. And uh, I'll go and do this to all of these. And then once I've done that, we should be uh, pretty much ready. Uh, to have ourselves a, a little bit of a, a test to go. And I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be good fun. I think the best part is just seeing the mole poking out their little head. There's just something funny about just seeing uh, someone going peekaboo, peekaboo, poking their little head up and down. I don't know, for some reason, it just really makes me laugh. And so <laughs> that was the, the whole idea of the game, was to have a game which involved people playing peekaboo, basically. <laughs> it's basically a big peekaboo game. So let me just go and uh, add in a, a little bit more of this brown wool. Well, I suppose it's supposed to be dirt. It's funny that I'm using brown wool as dirt, rather than dirt. Well, I guess this is more mud. I guess this is all grass and dirt, and then this can be the, the mud from underground where uh, the mole's been burrowing its way down there. So let me just go and uh, do a little bit round here. I'm kind of just doing it randomly, so they don't have to be symmetrical or the, the same size or anything. I'm just sort of uh, making them just look like little bits of uh, mud. And yeah, then we need to do what Lee Bear's doing and try and fill in the uh, the big hole uh, around the outside there because <laughs> that was the thing that was making it really messy. It's a really easy way, though, uh, to see exactly uh, where the, uh, the tunnel was going uh, because the way I did it, uh, was a little bit neater, but because we were underground, um, yeah, it was uh, kind of hard for me to, to work out exactly where I needed to go. And I can see a creeper over there, but he doesn't seem too bothered by us. We seem to be okay. No, he's coming, right? Liebert, Liebert's dealing with him. Oh, careful, Liebert. Ooh, that was scary. That was scary, Liebert. Don't pretend you weren't a little bit scared then. 